welcome back. I am here as moral support and I'm seeking it from you because I hadn't remembered that, or it just didn't occur to me really. Yeah, it didn't occur to me that in order to finish my chemise a la Ren, I would need to hem it. In order to hem it to the length that I would like, I need to put on my shoes. And for me, that means wearing these, my lovely 18th century heels that I bought from American Duchess. Not sponsored, I just like their shoes. And it involves the latchet and buckles. I've never done this before. And it looks like there's a couple other people that either search for this a lot or they also just want a little moral support when they take an awl and stab a bunch of holes in their expensive reenactment shoes. So I'm here for you for that. You can watch me follow the tutorials I found through the web and I will hold your hand if you are watching this in the future trying to do it yourselves. And while you're watching this right now, please hold mine and keep me in your thoughts because the idea of messing up my shoes is frankly a little terrifying right now. Um, I've been reassured it is nothing to be scared of. We can all do this. It's not that hard. But yeah, there's still that slight moment of, oh my gosh. So just to make sure that I become proficient at it, not only do I have my white shoes for my chemise a la Ren. Now, at the risk of sounding repetitive, let's get to this and you can watch me attempt to get some stuff done here. Alright beautiful humans, so I had to stop recording and figure out why my buckles weren't going in nearly smoothly as the wonderful people over at American Duchesses were, or a cat from Cat's Costumery. It turns out that it's my buckles, it's not the shoe. 
So these buckles, I will look up the order, whatever it is. The under, the under piece, let's see if we can get that to focus. There we go. So this under piece is not as wide as my under latchet. So I was having to curl and roll my under latchet to get them in there. I mean, they're manufactured by two different people and very well could be that there were measurements and specs that I just didn't read. I don't know. But that's been the whole problem I've had the whole time. Because once I started rolling that, it went in just fine. These little spikes did not stay, sorry, these little, little under chaplet spikes did not stay where I told them to. They're still mostly there, but this is what's really holding my shoes in right now. So um, I'm going to try and re-record the next several sets now that I've got the basic function of how this works. But let's take a look. I mean, they're super sparkly and they feel really secure either way. So let's get to doing some more buckles. wasn't so scary. Let's get out my black frasers and the set of buckles I have for that and do this one more time because if I do it again I will never forget and then I will be prepared when my next pair that I pre-ordered for spring actually show up and I will probably be good on ordering 18th century shoes for a long time.
you know, I think we're gonna finish this video out from the floor. I hope that this is super helpful to somebody out there. If it's not, those of you who have also struggled putting it in your latchet belt or latchet buckles, you feel seen and validated that you're not alone. Um, I think I'm just one of the first ones that is brave enough to be honest that they sucked at putting these in on the internet. Um, the James buckles for this pair were a lot easier to put in than the sparkly ones on my Kensingtons. Um, and that just has to do with I think they called this, this little under bit the shape. Yeah, the under bit here. That the first part of the latch it goes through was bigger on the set of buckles than on my sparkly ones. So that made installing them easier. And you know what? I did have to pierce the pierce this one actually twice but you can't really tell and once the over latchet goes in you don't even see the second set of holes so if you screw up and have to put in a second pair it's gonna be okay you'll be fine but there we go this is me being one step closer to all of my 18th century dream dresses because now I can hem them correctly with my shoes. Um, if you thought this was helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my adventures, go ahead and click that subscribe button and I will chat with you later, beautiful humans. Bye.